What is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Bill and in today's video we're not working on a Bronco. But we're talking about some tools for working on the Bronco. Bronco toolkit. So yes, it does have the Bronco logo on it. It is actually licensed by Ford. Uh, I like the idea of it. I have a garage full of tools. As you can see, it's in disarray right now. Um, and it's always like that whenever I go on a trip or anywhere, I, you know, especially if we're going off-roading, I know we're going off-roading. It's like, okay, what tools do I need to take just in case? And I'm going through like, oh, let me grab this. Let me grab this. Oh, let me grab this just in case. And then I come back and I still got to put everything back away. Everything's a mess. Um, gathering the tools is a lot quicker than it is putting everything away. Uh, so I saw this and I really liked the idea. Like, oh, well, it's just a roll of tools. It should have everything I need. If anything were to happen off-road and I just have all the tools I need, it's a nice pack package and it's just a quick roll that goes together. So I haven't even opened it yet. I mean, I've seen it seen what's inside but uh let's go ahead and open it and see what uh see what we got here and it comes disassembled so once you assemble it cut this is the roll everything just rolls up into this pack Comes with a little diagram to show where everything goes. Uh, even has a little thing showing how to store it or where you can store it. So yeah, pretty cool little kit. Now the question is, does it actually have everything that we need? One thing uh, I questioned and why I have a tie rod out is there is a, an adjustable wrench in there, but I wasn't sure if it's going to be big enough for that or you still need to bring a bigger wrench for that so i pulled that out just so we could see pulled it out of my that's this is normally what i take when i go off-roading that and i fill it full of random tools and i just have some extra tie rods in there just in case for myself or anybody else that we're out on the trail with could never yeah the one time I show up without those is going to be the time that I really wish I had them, so I always bring them with me. And then, um, yeah, so going from that, I mean, I'd still have to carry something. I could probably go to a smaller box, like something like that, to carry that and any other miscellaneous tools that might not be in here. But, you know, going from that big box down full of random tools that would take me forever to find, to having like this nice organized pouch I'm a big fan of and yeah you could probably put together a similar toolkit for cheaper if you wanted to so yeah let's go ahead I'm gonna go ahead set you down here let me start spreading out things see what we got here All right, so there we have everything kind of laid out. And we got some larger 18, 19, the 19 and 21 use those all the time uh, for things like tie rod ends or anything like that. Uh, I don't know that I've ever used the 18 or 22 or 13 16, so I don't know. That's about the same as 21, I believe. So, the 1921 definitely use those. Definitely use the ratchets, mini ratchets. Phillips head, flathead screwdriver. Allen key set or hex key set. And then even more importantly, the Torx which it does look like it's Torx Plus, or no, it's just Torx. The Torx bits, I uh, got the Torx bits. Uh, panel removal tool, which is a good thing to have. And then 
a set of regular sockets, you know, seven, seven, eight millimeter, ten millimeter, obviously. See, obviously, just because. What is this one? It's. Uh, it's just a, uh, a driver, so you can put these bits into there. And then, so small ratchet, quarter inch, three eighths, and then your half inch drives over here. And then, yeah, this was the thing. It has this almost, I guess, 30 millimeters, but I think these are 32 or 34. I don't remember. Yeah, so not quite, not quite big enough. That sucks. So yeah, you will. I would recommend also including a bigger wrench. There's the one I normally carry for the tie rod ends. Uh, they have shorter one with a shorter handle at Harbor Freight that does open up wide enough. That is also good because. If you're trying to use this in an off-road uh, off situation, you may not have a lot of room to turn that, where a shorter handle like that length would be perfect to getting into some smaller, tighter spots. Uh, however, it just doesn't open big enough. This is one I carried because it's one I had, but there is one at Harbor Freight that I've seen that opens as wide as this, but it's about that length, which is probably if you don't have a tool and you're looking to buy one, that's the one I would buy. I'll put a picture up to it if I think of it. But yeah, so I mean, overall, it seems like a pretty complete toolkit. And for what I'm going to use it for as my off-road toolkit, like, oh, hey, quick access. I have the tools that I need. It'd be perfect. Um, if you don't have any tools at all and you're looking to get a small toolkit, that would work this would work however i don't know that i would buy this for my main toolkit to work on things it's got everything that you need one main thing that would be nicer to have would be to have the ratcheting uh, closed end wrenches it's not a must yeah you have the ratchets and everything but working on the Bronco, especially here in the garage at home, I, you know, I always have, excuse me, I got a mess everywhere. I got changing out the struts on my son's car, but I use almost ex every single time I work on the Bronco, I have this wrench kit out with me. Um, it's super convenient. The swivel and ratcheting ends on these is makes getting into different areas getting things loosened or tightened you know this i would i would buy this first this and a basic socket set uh would be the basics that you would need and then kind of build from that yeah if i was building a kit for the garage or for my home or wherever I was going to do a little bit of work. You could spend your budget better. However, if you're like me and you don't want to pack up your tools and lose things and everything, having this nice little pack out is nice. Keep it in the car always. If something were to happen, you have all the tools that you need easily at your disposal instead of packing up tools when you think you might need them because when when does that ever happen you're like oh i have everything i didn't need you don't need them then it's those cases where you weren't expecting that you're going to need a toolkit whereas where i like to have this and be able to just keep this in the bronco at all times no matter what so for that for the peace of mind and just having a nice full kit with everything minus that wrench really uh to be able to do most anything in the Bronco that may arise at any moment, it's worth it to me to pay the extra money to have a nice looking kit that just goes with the Bronco. So let me go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and put everything where it belongs in this kit and see how it looks once it's all put together. So just give me a minute and we'll see how that goes. 
each tool uh, it's kind of like a laser etching of the tool size got the bronco logo look kicking horse and the bronco logo on them these end ones are a little tight and the rest of them pretty easy to get anything in and out of yeah, so just a small deviation from this it says it should be the wrench sets and then these but that doesn't have this stop in the middle uh, so the hammer's got to go there and then these got to go over and that so these two panels are swapped from what the directions say and Mackenzie's in here causing trouble again put together we can zip it up does have nice big zippers so shouldn't be hard to fumble with and try to get things unzipped in a pinch and then the whole thing just kind of rolls together Loops tight. Now you can clip these into your tie down straps in the in the back or wherever you need them to. Or if you don't want to tie it down, strap it down. You can just take that off, which I'll probably do, and just use it as the roll, just like that, and shove under the seat or something. But yeah, overall, I'm happy with it. It's a nice little carrying case of tools to keep in the Bronco uh, for any situations that might arise. So probably unravel that and throw that in there somewhere just to, in the roll. So as you roll, unroll it, that'll be in there as well. And then shouldn't be anything that we don't have covered with that between that and then you also have the small bronco tool kit and the bronco already yeah there shouldn't be anything we should encounter that we don't have the tools for now there might be some tools that could make life easier like i said like the ratcheting wrench and wrench ends or stuff like that those are the, the nice to have especially if you're going to be working uh, on your car a lot, working on your Bronco, working on other things, I would recommend getting some of those for your for your shop or your 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 home. But for an emergency kit, for making sure you just have the right tool that you can get a job done while you're out on the trail or off on the side of the road or anywhere, that's a great little pot box. Now, I did mention the Bronco branding on everything. So as, as you probably know, that means uh, it is going to be pricey. I believe the kit sells for about $350 normally everywhere, which, yeah, it, you can get a better deal somewhere else. You might not have the complete kit or it might not be as prettily packaged. But if you're like me and you wanted to have this, you can pick it up. You could normally find disc, uh, discount codes uh, somewhere. I'll see if I can't get one together um, and if so I'll put it down in the description below or link to where you can buy it but yeah just a, a, a nice little go bag of tools that should cover everything that you may possibly encounter while you're out in your Bronco all right so it has been a while since I filmed that one thing I mentioned in that video when I did record it was that I was going to try to find a discount code if you were interested in the toolkit what I ended up finding instead was uh, an opportunity. And I am now an authorized dealer for said toolkits. So if you go over to eviltruck.com and I'll post a link down below, you can actually order through my website. I do have a coupon code you can use, it's tool10, so you can get a 10% discount. If you just finished watching the rest of the video, it wasn't a great sales pitch to, hey, go buy this toolkit right now. You absolutely need it. But for the right person, the right person, I, I bought it. I'm happy that I bought it. I'm happy with it. I know there's people out there like me 
that would like to have this toolkit. And for those, I'm trying to make the best deal available that I can for you. All the links will be down below. But uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.